So, hello, 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 and a massive hello to everybody. Hope everybody's having a great day, wherever they are, whatever they may be doing. This is 50 Pips rocking and rolling, 26th of August, 2019. No trade calls, no recommendations, every response for their own stuff. We're here for educational purposes only. So, quick little update this morning. So, as we were discussing last night in the uh, in the weekly outlook for subscribers, usually when you see, regardless of what's going on, when you see this kind of action, when we close heavy, on a on a on a Friday, you know, our base case assumption is to look for buying opportunities on on Monday, right? Either on a little bit of a basing uh, into the open uh, Sunday open, a little bit after the Sunday open, or into uh, New York open. So again, so far we'll still have to see what's going on. It's all about Trump, even though we have a lot of data out of the U.S. Um, this uh, this week, you know, it's all and only about trade wars, uh, Trump tweeting, et cetera, et cetera. You know, if things were to get ugly and we put in some kind of, you know, major top, um, I think that clearly uh, Friday's tweet storm from Trump will go down in the history books, right? Uh, what, who is a greater enemy, she or Powell, right? Very, very, uh, uh, you know, crazy stuff. But all things being equal, that's the new normal. And as we've been discussing, we only think that things are going to get worse as we get closer to the election. But having said that, what we said is, you know, what you want to watch going into the open is USDCNH as usual and the feed, right? Because what are the odds that they're really going to want this to tank ugly on a Sunday open and in Monday also UK's close today, even less liquidity in the markets. And on top of that, you have uh, a prime platform for the pump, right? Or to, to save an ugly day is because you still have this G7 that's going on. So it's just an easy way for a lot of the world leaders, a lot, an easy way to, to pump the headlines and put out positive commentary, right? Now, the circus has continued this morning early with, you know, Trump saying that he's had some positive calls with the Chinese, then the Chinese saying that essentially uh, they're not aware of any calls, et cetera, et cetera. But what is clear is that they do not want this to get ugly, and that's quite normal. So even if you look at, you know, some of the reversals, you know, you look at uh, USD JPY action in the Sunday open, you know, we gap down, everybody panics, we print new lows, one hour reversal candle, bam, gap fill. You look at uh, Swissy, similar kind of action. Uh, you look at silver, uh, you know, similar kind of action. But, you know, I think yen is really a, a prime example of just the market, oh, it tends to get ahead of itself, clears weak players, clears fortune seekers looking to buy the clothes on a Sunday or on, on a very ugly day or selling the high, sorry, buying the clothes on a Friday on a very ugly day or selling the high on a Friday on a very good day. And those guys pr always, pretty much always get cleared, right? Uh, the lottery ticket trades rarely hold. We clear them and then we reverse. So as I was saying to some people on Twitter this morning, the action, uh, regardless of what's going on, you know, technically is fairly pure, right? Uh, as usual in this kind of context, because of the volatility and because of what we're seeing on the wires, we always adjust for that. So we trade Trade wider stops, uh, wider TPs, and much smaller size, but but you know the technicals are fine. So going into this week, what we would say is I would refer people to previous videos or or previous commentaries or previous stuff on the blog because we're exactly where we were before on the on the on the indices, right? Really, nothing much has uh, nothing much has changed. We just had a little bit of a of a of, of a wobble. On, on Friday, but as we said in the Sunday outlook, you know, that wobble, uh, you know, it's always funny because you can see people on Bloomberg TV going, you know, markets got massacred, massive down days. You know, you, you have to be, you really wonder if these guys have ever really seen what a down day is. You know, even market down three, three and a half percent, four percent is not a, a market's getting destroyed, right? Let's get that clear. So, Again, keep the context, my, uh, especially for newer traders, you know, my, 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 uh, my real recommendation would be keep context in mind and keep the levels in mind, right? Let's just look at the, uh, at the, um, at the ES quickly. Um, you know, you see here we're holding, we're still stuck in the same kind of zone we've been chopping around and it, could this turn ugly? Sure, but all things being equal, even on the sell-off on Friday, you know, we're still holding. We're not below that 2800. We're not below the 200 day moving average, right? On the move higher when people get excited to the upside, we're still inside that 50 DMA, right? 
we're not bat through those those breakout levels, right? And as we've been discussing the previous outlooks and on on Twitter too, no, we expect that the market to have to come back into this area for people to get their money back before we could start to sell off. But essentially, which it did, but essentially, as long as we're stuck here inside the 50 DMA and the 200 DMA, this is much to do about nothing, right? It's much to do about nothing. Can it get ugly? Sure, but it can, you know, it, all it's gonna take is a series of tweets and we're back to where we were before. So keep context in mind and, and you know, don't get too excited. And another interesting way of, of looking at that, you know, for whatever, uh, you want is g take a look at uh, DXY, right? We've been talking about DXY being stuck in this 98, 96 range. And even on the on the little panic on Friday, you know, the 97 held. So we're still inside 96, 98. So what's happened? Well, essentially, Trump's just had a little tantrum on, on Twitter. But in the same way, you know, unless you break key levels, and it triggers a massive liquidity event and you know things will likely not get ugly and especially if they don't get really ugly on a massive liquidity event in the same way a series of tweets uh mess things up uh, a series of tweets can easily solve things right so for the rest of the week it's all about the headlines keep in mind we've got a joint press conference trump macron in a couple of hours time and again, just focus on the levels. The, the, the technicals have been playing out very nicely. We're still pretty much in range across the board. We've seen some breaks, but like USD, uh, JPY, pure little stop hunt and bag and reverse, a nice little gap fill, right? So again, you shouldn't be surprised if we go right back to the scene of the crime with a couple of press releases and a couple of comments today. And unless we're outside of those broader ranges, it's still really uh, much to do about nothing. It's still chop chop, okay? Stay safe out there. Remember, no need to trade too big. Have an awesome day. Thanks for following. If you like these updates, uh, I'm, I'm gonna try and keep on doing them every day, but uh, let me know if you, you enjoy them, it's, if it's worth me uh, taking the time to do them. Have an awesome one, guys. All the best, bye-bye.